Donald Rumsfeld singled out three distinct challenges that he believed democratic states in general, but the US in particular, were facing when waging war in today's media environment. Challenge number one. This is the first time in history, he says, that war is being waged in a transformed, hypermediatized environment. There's never been a war waged in this environment before. Challenge number two. U.S. adversaries like the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, or Iraqi insurgents have been very quick to adapt to today's new media environment. And he said, they are successfully employing a digital new media technology as part of their warfighting strategy. The third challenge, according to Rumsfeld, is that the United States and states in general have been very slow to adjust to this changing media environment. The US government, he said, is functioning more like a five and dime store in an eBay world. I've singled out Rumsfeld here, A, because his messages never cease to be provocative, and B, because his speaking style never fails to be entertaining. On more substantial grounds, however, Rumsfeld's statement in 2006 is important because it conveyed a sentiment that was shared across Western capitals, from Auckland to Berlin, from Ottawa to Canberra, from London to Paris. In other words, Rumsfeld's core message was reflective of what most governments and militaries were either stating publicly or what they were thinking privately. Rumsfeld was both right and wrong in his assessment. He was right in the sense that the global media landscape has changed fundamentally and that the US wars in Iraq and Afghanistan were amongst the first major conflicts waged in this new media environment. He was also right in suggesting that Al-Qaeda, the Taliban and Iraqi insurgents had been much quicker to adjust to the possibilities offered by these new media technologies than the US military. And he was right in his suspicion that digital media devices constituted a technological innovation that generally benefited non-state military actors more than state actors like the United States. However, he was wrong in his claim that in the current media environment, the US military was operating like a five and dime store in an eBay world. While the US military was indeed slow to adjust its media strategy to the digital media revolution, the Pentagon already had in place one of the world's most sophisticated and innovative systems of media control for decades. And that applied not only to the US military, but it also applied to most Western democracies.